Hi guys, I'm Antonios and in this video lesson I will show you how to put an array row from starting tips Java. So as you see here the, in starting tips XML we already have a, a table row, a table layout with a table row inside. Uh, I uh, make an ID for the table layout as you see here T1 and uh, in the table we have only one row here with two text views so under the table layout I will um, put one pattern let's do it from the graphical layout let's put one small button here here's our button and we will change the ID of the button let's zoom it first the ID of the button uh, go button go and the text of the button go and uh, we need and another property on click right on click inside in this way we can uh, use the button on click listener we are okay with uh, the XML let's go to starting tips Java from here and now we want to use a variable for the button that just we just make button uh, go the button will be equal with uh, button class find control space find view by id r dot id for our, from our package dot and we want the button be go ok and uh, let's uh, go to we have on click listener here and uh, we already have the override public void on click view as we said it in uh, the previous lessons we make a, a new case r dot id dot uh, go ok and uh, we will see what we will do here first we have to make a, a two variable for two text views that we will uh, put in uh, the row the first we will name it uh, scr1 and the second scr2 now for the table we must have a, a variable for table layout control space a table layout let's name it uh, t1 a variable for uh, the row table control space table row we'll name it tough r tr now up here we have to set the table layout first so tough t1 will be equal to to our table layout and we will find it with the same way find view by id r dot id dot uh, t1 okay i hope that you have to understand what we are, we are doing here we set the, the variable t1 and uh, this must be equal with uh, with the table in our xml file this one okay we'll continue let's use one uh, of the methods will come with view uh, table layout uh, the name is uh, think set uh, column straight table as you see here we have collapsed we have a um, screen st string able straight table we need this one uh, here we have to in the parameters we have to set the column in text 
sorry the first column is, is uh, 0 and uh, in the second parameter we have to write true or false we need true in this way we can set the stretch of the, uh, the columns we will have two columns so we can copy this paste it below and change the index of the column to 1 ok we set the table, we set the stretch of the column so we can uh, uh, set the two uh, views that we will use in the, in the row in the center it will uh, share the, all the, the space of the row so let's go to go button and what we want to do every time the user uh, touch the the go button we want to add the uh, one uh, row in our table so let's use the variable tr to set uh, a new row tr equals to uh, new table row for the context we use the word this for this uh, java class and uh, now we will um, set the variables scr1 and scr2 let's start with the scr for scores scr1 this will be equal to uh, a new text view Control space, enter. We need the context again. This. Okay. Let's set in the second one. SCR2. In the same way, new. Okay. Now let's start with uh, SCR1 to set the text. So set text. Set text. Uh, we can use a char sequence or int. Anyway, we use the first one, and we will see it later. Int because I want to write a, a number inside, but we can do it in this way. So the set, set the set text is uh, okay. We will set the. Um, the text size to 15 and set the gravity to center scr1 dot uh, set the gravity to center for gravity to be center we use the gravity dot uh, center int ok I think we are ok for the SR1 let's do the same for the second one second variable control C to copy control V to paste and let's delete we want to make it 2 for the second variable ok finally we want to add the text views to our table row to the row so tr dot add view src1 same for the sequent tr dot add view src2 and uh, Finally, we will put uh, the row in uh, our table. The name of the table, the variable of the table is uh, how we name it. We name it T1. So, T1 dot 
add view add view uh, tr and that's it I think we are okay now let's uh, save let's zoom out first save it and run it to so we can see the result select the emulator click OK and we wait for the result so you can see the results here if we click go we add a row here let's click again go we have a second one click go again we have a third one okay that's it for this lesson I hope we change it. See you again in the next one.